Today we are going to look at RAD Grid View and how to export its contents to additional formats. RAD Grid View is part of Telerik's RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. Before we get started, let me remind you that this video is part of a series on RAD Grid View. If you're looking to get started with RAD Grid View, then go back to tv.telerik.com and select Silverlight and search RAD Grid View, getting started. Or you can also follow along with the blog post that I have created on blogs.telerik.com forward slash Michael Crump. So getting back to the RAD Grid View. So in addition to everything else that RAD Grid View does, it also provides built-in methods to get the content of your grid view control in different formats. So we have four formats listed here that RAD Grid View supports out of the box. We have a text format, which each row is exported on a new line with the values separated by tabs. Next, we have a CSV, which each row is exported on a new line with values surrounded by quotation marks and separated by commas. Then we have HTML. The contents of the RAD grid view is exported in a standard HTML table. And then finally, we have Excel XML, which this actually exports the contents to an Excel XML format. So once that has been exported, you can simply import that into MS Excel. So let's stop back into Visual Studio 2010 and see how we can add in this functionality to our existing application. So now that we're back in Visual Studio 2010, I'm going to briefly talk about the project that I already have set up and then we'll dive straight into exporting the contents of the grid. So as you see here, uh, I have my RAD grid view already added to my project. And with this, I have an auto-generate column set to false, and then I have a column width set to star, which this will simply align our data where it fits the full size of the screen. Next up, I have a couple of different columns here. I have a last name, a first name, an age, and an is married. And these are actually all binding to some data that I have over here in my employee class. So inside of my employee class, I have the first, last, age, and married, and then I have an employee service. And inside of the employee service, I have an observable collection, and this is just simply called get employees, which gives me just a little bit of dummy data. I have about 15 records uh, set in this method. So back to the code behind, I have in my main page a loaded event that sets the rad grid view one dot item source to my employee service dot get employees. So if I come back to my main page and I actually run this application, we'll see that we have our 15 records here and we are going to want to export the contents of this grid. So let's go ahead and just close out of Internet Explorer. So I'm going to come back to my XAML view and I'm actually just going to move this up just a little bit here and I'm going to grab a button and I'm going to drop it down here. So this button I'm going to simply replace the content with export and then we will add a little bit of code to our click event handler. So I'm going to click on events and I'm going to go back up to click and double click and now I'm just going to add a little bit of code here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a string and give it an extension of XLS because our first example is going to be exporting to Excel. Next up I'm going to add in a save file dialog. So if I paste in this code snippet here, we see that we have a save file dialog. We give it a default extension of XLS. And then I have a simple filter here that is set up that will show all files or Excel. Now I'll go ahead and I'll paste in another code snippet that will define what will happen when we actually export this data. So 
we have an if dialog dot show dialog equals true. So now we'll go to our using statement and let's just go ahead and correct that. So if it is set to true, then we're going to use the stream of rad grid view one dot export. And next we have a grid view export options. So we're going to also want to resolve this namespace as well. And we can see that was using telerik.windows.controls. And if we scroll back down, we can see that first we see the format. So the format is the possible formats that are defined in the export format enumeration. So in this sample, I have HTML. I'm actually going to change that to Excel ML. Next up, we have a show column headers. This determines whether to export the column headers or not. Then we have a show column footers, and that determines whether to export the column footers. And then we have a show group footers, and this also determines whether to export the group footers. So if I go ahead and I run this project, Down at the bottom, I have my button here called Export. I'm going to click Export. And the first thing that happened was we have our Save As box. I'm just going to give this a name of Telerik XML Excel. And you see the file type is Save As Top Excel Files. And then I'm going to hit Save. Now, once I've done that, I can actually navigate over to my documents library and I can see I have a Telerik XML Excel. So if I double click on that, we'll see Excel 2010 just opened up and we'll correct this view here and I'll see that I have my column headers, last name, first name, age and is married, and then I have my data. And if you were to toggle the export format to say HTML, then you would get something that appears just like the following. And of course, you could always export that to text and it would look like the following. Remember, as I said before, you had the carriage return line feed. And then finally, if you exported this to CSV, it would look just like this with a comma separated between each value. I hope you enjoyed Rad Grid View and how to export its contents to additional formats. Tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.